The crew chief role, that's a tough one to really define because everybody is unique and the way that they crew chief is, is different. The way that, that Rudy crew chiefs right now is different than the way that a guy like Blake or Cliff Daniels or Alan or, or anybody else in the industry does. It's really tough, it's really rigorous, and that's why they are such a, a huge part of what it is that we do. I'm Rudy Fugel, I'm the uh, crew chief of the 24. My role is to manage the team from, uh, from the pit crew to the mechanics, the engineers, driver, spotter, to make sure I can help with anything they need and kind of lead and guide them in the direction that I want to see the team run on a certain weekend and for the year. A good comparison is like a head football coach. And the head football coach, as we know, has his offensive line coach and his defensive line coach, his quarterback coach, and all of his, his specialty support staff around him. And each crew chief has that as well. He's the guy that's calling audibles on what it is they need to do from a setup. He's calling audibles on what it is they need to do from a race strategy standpoint. The crew chief is such an important role. That communication between the driver and the crew chief is, is everything. And then the crew chief to the engineers and the crew chief to the, to the pit crew. In, in the shop, you know, how they build the car at the shop. So he has a really important role. He works a lot of hours. Let's say we just get back from a racetrack late Sunday night. They're, they're in Monday morning at uh, 11 o'clock roughly because we have a competition meeting at 12. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the guys are just working with their engineers, working with their teams, working with their pit crews to try to get everything ready to go. And then Friday, we're going to the racetrack. It's the NASCAR All-Star Race from North Wilkesboro Speedway in Wilkes County, North Carolina. It has been reborn. The fact that we went to North Wilkesboro is, is amazing. It's huge to be able to go back to a historic place like that. I think he looks forward to, you know, the short tracks. You know, I think it's kind of goes back to his roots. I think Wilkesboro kind of fits his style. Friday we unloaded and we were pretty good. We had good speed. William was pretty happy with the car, balance wise. A lot of that stuff was going well. Fast in short runs, fast in 30 laps. Kind of the normal competitors, the 11 car, the 19 were also fast. So I'm like, okay, if they're fast we're, and we're fast, it's probably gonna be pretty good. We come in on Saturday and the guys are straight away going through inspection if they haven't already. All right, now time to get ready for the heats. Saturday was the heat races. It was kind of wet and rainy. I don't, we didn't put a lot of stock into it because of the fact that the track was in different conditions. I think the All-Star Race is a great atmosphere. You're okay with some of the details not being perfect the way you're used to. We'll start P6 in the All-Star Race tomorrow night. Good job, let's uh, wrap it up for the day. Race day, it's, it's making small minor adjustments to the race car that they have just agonized over for the last 12 hours trying to figure out what they want to do with communication from their engineers. And then you go through and you, you start the race. You guys all got in the all-star race. We got in the all-star race. It's awesome. I've said this all along, all week long. This can be a momentum gainer, but we're not going to let it be a momentum loser no matter what happens. We're going to have fun with it, enjoy the moment of what's going on. All the people that are here, you don't know when you get these moments again, so enjoy them. The best part is that feeling you get right before your on-track session starts. Fired up. And the car's about to roll on the track on new tires. You know, there's butterflies, adrenaline. There's a little bit of nervousness on what's going to happen, you know, and, and, and how am I going to react? And what am I going to do to make my car better? That's the competitive part of this sport that's amazing. All right, let's, uh, let's go have fun. Go win a million bucks. And at that point, all the practice, all the studying, everything that you've done just gets thrown out the window because you have no idea what's going to happen through the course of a race. We know that there's going to be stage breaks, we know that there's going to be cautions in those areas, but everything beyond that is a complete unknown and they have to adjust on the fly. We can make it next, Ben. Good. This is time. Four tires on the deck here. Who is ahead of the other and will get back on the lead lap as caution waves and it will be Truex. Well, we're halfway through. It didn't work out, so we'll, uh, we'll work. There'll be lots of other things, opportunities for us here. I think most of us all expected to have another caution of some kind. It didn't happen, the cautions didn't come out and just didn't go our way. We didn't, we didn't have the pace we needed to. Our, our runs after 30 laps, we were just, uh, just not good enough. Right here. 
Yes, all right. Appreciate the effort. Let's, uh, we'll get on it. Can't wait for a uh, good race for us up this weekend. Thanks, everybody. How do you be the leader for when things are high and when, when things are low and, and, and in between. How do you get and man, get the most out of all of your people? You just gotta look yourself in the mirror and, and realize what, what went wrong. And sometimes those are tough conversations because sometimes you may not even see your, in yourself what, what you did wrong, you know, what, what you need to do better. So you need your teammates, whether it's the driver, the spotter, your other engineers to say, hey, we should have made this decision. Racing is such a team sport. You know, I, obviously I drive the car, but it's really about each team member doing what they're required to do, you know, on that weekend to make us competitive. There's definitely a lot of elements to it. It's a lot, a lot of parts and pieces to make all this happen. It takes everybody thinking outside the box. The bubbling fluids and all those things allow us to have better aerodynamics and keep our parts running the rest of the race, you know, so it's huge to have a partner that's willing to put the R&D into it to help us with that. They're not just putting a sticker on the car and saying that we're running bubbling, they're, they're helping us perform better. NASCAR's return to North Wilkesboro will send Kyle Larson to victory lane. Having a teammate win is the next best thing to you winning. Obviously, we're, we're evaluating ourselves and we want to beat everybody, including our teammates. But it's Hendrick Motorsports and there's, there's over 500 people here that you want to see get a victory. So you take that, you go right to work Monday morning, and we did in there at 1030 on not much sleep and uh, going through how we wanted to get better, what we did wrong, what we should have done better and moving on, you know. So uh, that's, that's the great thing about this team is we're all professional and and we, we're a big team, so we know that we need to step up and pull each other up.